Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another counter side video. Alright, so Awaken Ju Shiyun is gonna get buff. Now, let's talk a little bit about this alongside with Kyuren as well. So, uh, if you guys are not aware, that's based on the KR patch. Plenty of things have happened this week, but I didn't manage to have uh, too much time uh, talking about things. And I was like, if you guys can hear from my voice, it's a bit different. That's because I caught a flu, right? So let's talk a little bit about Awaken Ju Shiyun. Alright, so a lot of you guys weren't very happy with this video that I did about a week ago, right? This video is called uh, Should You Pull for Awaken Ju Shiyun? Now, I basically, in this video, my advice to the new players is no, you should not pull for Awaken Ju Shiyun. And in the comment section, a lot of you guys were not happy. A lot of you guys were saying, no, Awaken Ju Shiyun is very strong. Awaken Ju Shiyun is meta. Awaken Ju Shiyun is actually very good in PvE. Guess what? If he's that strong, why are they buffing him? Right? Like, let, let's be honest here. Like, let's be honest here. This is not about me being right or anyone being wrong. Let's have a look at the patch notes. You guys will see what I'm talking about. Awaken Ju Shiyun, what is he getting? Special skill now can hit air units. One buff. Special skill stun increase from 2 to 4 seconds. Two buff. That's already crazy. Two buff so far. Alright? So, just to give you guys a context, what else? Special skill, decrease Shion's skill haste by 25% now, instead of 50%. Another rework here, 3 buff, alright, before this 50%, now 25%. Ultimate skills deal extra damage to enemies based on their current HP, 15% additional damage. Now you can see, 4 total buffs right there. If he's so strong, they should have nerfed him, not buff him. Alright guys, let's be real here. Alright, so again, I'm not the one that likes to make videos like this to counter-attack uh, people that disagree with me, right? If you disagree with me, I think it's a fair point. At the end of the day, me as a content creator, my objective is always to help new players make proper decision in pulling units or not. And I try to be as fair as I can, alright? I try to be as fair as I can, coming from a no bias point of view. My, my review for characters or my point of view will always be based on how strong a character is, based on meta. I don't really care if that particular character is like a waifu or somebody's husband though, or if it's a favorite. But if it sucks, I'm going to say it sucks. That's just how it is, and people might hate me for it, but hey, that's just how things work. Alright, let's talk about Kyurian. Special now reduces the cooldown of the ult based on the number of allies on the battlefield. One second reduction per two allies. This is going to be really cool uh, for Kyurian. This is going to uh, affect C server. I strongly believe Awaken Kyurian is the next Awaken for C server. Now what does this mean, right? The more allies are there on the battlefield, the more reduction for uh, Kyurian's special skill cooldown. This is going to be good because Kyurian fits in a soldier team. Now in the soldier team, you can soldiers tend to have like times two times three units per unit. So therefore, you'll be able to stack this easily. And special now give attack speed to Kyurian based on the number of allies on the battlefield. 10% attack speed for 8 seconds is the base. Then it's 2% for each ally can be stacked up to 10 times. Now we'll see how this is. Apparently, Kyurian is not that strong either. That's why they are buffing him. If he's that strong, they would have nerfed him. Alright, I don't know why people like to, you know, try to justify that this character is strong or is, is weak by them watching other people. Like in my... Like a lot of people come and tell me that I've seen, uh, you know, they've seen uh, other content creators do certain things in certain stage, so therefore that character is strong. But that's not how you justify certain things because it can be because of Gears as well. Gears is going to be very important for this game because that's what carries us. Like, for a lot of characters, if you don't have good Gears, more than likely, they're not going to work. Sure, like if you are in endgame, you're going to have lots of good gears, but that's not how you gauge how strong a character is most of the time. You also want to gauge them from a, from a much more different perspective. And I guess the KR testing team, they do have that in mind. Now, I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm really happy for Awaken Jushin. Now, is he a must pull now? Probably he's going to be way stronger, way better in the meta, right? Uh, for sure. Now, okay, let's do a PvP. Hopefully showcase him in this battle right here. So we're going to have Awaken Nayubin per se. So let me deploy uh, Overflow. So hopefully that helps a little bit. So we got that Awaken Nayubin which is pretty interesting. I am going to activate Blue Bridge Mark 2. So we both uh, are 
using a lot of skills. Okay, this is going to be very confusing. Okay, so a lot of uh, counter attack going on. I have no idea what's happening, but that Nayubin is really strong. Nayubin is crazy, still alive. Okay, so we're gonna CC as many of that, that Xiaolin or whoever that is at the back. That Shinja is too late. As long as Awakened Jushun is still alive, again, Awakened Jushun, he can work. All right, I'm not saying that he cannot work, right? For sure, a lot of units can actually work. Um, it's just, it's harder to gauge based on PvP. Uh, for me, I can make a character look stronger than it should as a content creator. So that's something that you guys have to be really careful, right? Whenever you watch other people that makes videos, uh, it's, e it's easier for them to make how a character looks strong because I can just edit my videos to the point that I show you guys only my wins. You will never see that I lose. So therefore, you can always look at the character and be like, wow, this character is so strong. This guy never loses. But the truth is, you never know. Like, for example, like a couple of days ago, you can see this battle I lost. Awakened Jushun here, I use him, I lost. This battle, I use Awakened Jushun, and I lost, right? So I want to give you guys a more realistic approach of you guys need to be aware of uh, how how the battle works most of the time, right? <clears throat> now, I'm not, I'm not, uh, you're not putting accusation towards anyone here, but it's like, what I'm saying is, in the past, I've done that as well, all right? I'm not guilty of that as well. In the past, I've done, uh, I've always edited my videos that I only show the battle that I win. By the way, this video is not going to be edited. You guys are going to see this loading screen. You guys are going to see everything. So you guys can gauge for yourself how strong is Awakened Jushun. So we got time for one more battle. So let's go. Uh, hopefully, I don't know what is this stuck at 100%. Now, Awakened Jushun, uh, let's talk a little bit about him since we are the topic is on him right now, right? Uh, I've been asked a lot about skill haste versus attack speed. Uh, that's something that I think is going to depend on the individual preferences, right? I would say both are kind of equal. I don't think one of it like outweighs the other, right? Which is going to be quite crazy uh, for me to say that. But the truth is, okay, let me put my Kestrel here. Uh, this is going to be an interesting, interesting one. I feel like going Awaken Ju Xiyun here. I wonder why this guy don't use Blue Bridge Mark 2. Like Blue Bridge Mark 2 is just so much stronger. Right? I feel like Blue Bridge Mark 2 is so much stronger. Like the Awaken Yu Yumina is almost dying. Phoenix on top. <coughs> Excuse me. Awaken Xiao Yun is gonna get countered. Counter. Counter. Yep. There we go. GG. Alright, show you guys the battle statistics as you can see. Castle Xiaolin, uh, Ria Master Rosa, Awakened Jushun. I didn't use him much. I use him at the end there. But yeah, he still does his job fairly for sure. So yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you guys think of Awakened Jushun getting buff. I am personally happy for him. Let me know what you guys think as well. As always, subscribe. Give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.